Hi everyone, I'm testing my chat application. The first thing the user has to do when they join the chat app, they have to create a room. I can type the name of a room, let's say Glib's room, and click create, and then I can go into that room and start chatting. Here's my problem. If I go to the list of rooms, the list keeps growing. In my test, if I want to test how the room is created, for example, you know, trying to create a kitchen, well, I cannot check if there are no rooms at the beginning. This test fails just because there is already a couple of rooms. So I have to create random rooms. So the list keeps growing and growing. It would be nice if before each test, right before I visit the rooms, if I could clear the rooms somehow. So the best way for us to clear the rooms is to look at how the application creates and deletes rooms. Well, I looked at all the routes in my app, so I can get the rooms, I can uh, join particular room. There is no route in my API to actually delete all the rooms. So I have to look at how the rooms are stored, so maybe I can access the rooms at the model or database level. So in my models, I have a room. Let's see. Uh, I can remove users, find rooms, create a room. Okay, so the model access layer also doesn't have a method for deleting all the rooms. So now I have to look at the database. The database exports models user room message. Okay, so the room comes from here. And I can see that it's uh, Mongoose on top of MongoDB. So this particular schema now has all default methods for finding all the rooms, finding a particular room, or deleting the rooms. So where can I put it? Um, my code has to be in the plugin file. Because the plugin file runs in Node, that means it can access a Mongoose database schema. It can connect to the MongoDB as long as Cypress runs with MongoDB environment variables, so it can connect. So let's look at the code. First, I have to load the database the same way as the application is loading. So my application, let's say database equals or DB maybe equals. Yes, so it just loads it from the database file and then starts using this DB variable uh, in our, whenever it needs to access the Mongo table. So I can say database and require, right? So I literally have to go all the way up from the plugin file, go into the uh, app folder, into the database and load the in. Perfect. Okay, well, suppose we load it. We have to use it somehow. Our task has to say, okay, I'm logged in, delete all the rooms, or even before I'm logged in. So in order for us to access the code in the plugin file from a test, we need to register tasks. So that's just an object of names, so I'll say clear rooms. And it's a method, and it's going to be a synchronous method, because it's a synchronous operation. And now, let's see what we can do. Well, we'll take our database, and it has models, right? Let's look at this again. So our database, right, has models from the schema. Okay, we have room. So assume room. And now we have to use one of Mongo or Mongo's utility method. So delete many, I believe. And we don't have any parameters, so we'll just pass an object. And Cypress task always has to return something to prevent accidental return. So let's see if this works. So we're just going to return now. And from our test, we'll say sci test clear. So let's reload. So what did we do? I can see the task was called, right? And I can look at the output. Well, unfortunately, the output doesn't tell us much, which is why I always advise to add a console log. And this will be output into the terminal clear room. Okay, the task is finished. And we can see that it actually was called. And notice this where when the test actually ran after before each hook started, we have zero rooms, we created a kitchen, and the kitchen room is available. One other thing that I can give you as a tip, you can move this into a reusable function right here, a sync function, and just give it as a name, clear rooms. And I like this format because sometimes you might want to say, um, you might want to clear the rooms before each spec or before the 
uh, Cypress Run. So Cypress has this before spec, before run API, and here's where we can await clear rooms. So by making it a reusable function, it actually works in our advantage. Now, here's something else that's really, really cool. So let's say you create a couple rooms, create, and you're like, ah, oh, I don't need these rooms. How would it look if our rooms were gone? Open the DevTools, switch to console. Now you can execute this utility command called sign now. Now, it's a very low level command. It's not documented, so do not blame me when it stops working. But now, <laughs> if you get what I mean, you can execute sign now, give a name of a Cypress command, in this case, task, and give all arguments to a task. Clear rooms. And if we had more arguments, we would provide them. And press enter. Now notice, this is an asynchronous command. It actually gets reflected in the command log, and it gets into the plugin file and executes the task clear rooms. Unfortunately, or well, fortunately, it doesn't actually re refresh the page. So for this, I can refresh the window myself. So when I switch to the application iframe, I can say, I believe location reload, and now we can see that the rooms are gone. So using tasks from console, using sign now task is a pretty cool and convenient way. You wanna create a room, go ahead and then continue exploring the application. You want to clear them? Go ahead. So this is the way you can not only connect to your MongoDB or any database from your plugin file, but use it from your test or from the DevTools console yourself.